So we're here in Thailand for the high ticket coaching retreat and I just asked a big group of trainers, do you want to be seen on TV? And I'm asking you right now, do you think that you being on TV will grow your business? Now, if you're like the other coaches who said, yeah, I want to be on TV, I want to be able to do that. And I said, why do you want to be on TV? And they said simply, well, it's to get more eyeballs, it's to get more attention, to get more people to see you and really what it is that you're doing. And I was like, great, I tell you what, let's set up a system and I want to show you right now in this episode being able to set up a method where it could be even more powerful what I believe is more powerful than you getting on TV and a hell of a lot cheaper and a hell of a lot easier as well and I want to do it with one caveat I want to do this in a way not just getting more eyeballs not just getting more attention but actually doing it in a way where it's going to get you more clients so let's think about the holy grail that a lot of people think that advertising on TV is. You're simply going to be able to put together an advertisement, which could cost an absolute shit ton. Then you're going to be able to have to actually pay for the network to be able to get that advertisement on the channel. Now, yes, you can probably be able to say, hey, I want to be able to target this specific set of people. And they're going to come back to you and go, right, with the actual ratings, these specific set of people are going to be watching these shows. This is roughly when you're going to want to be able to put your advertisement on the TV channel. Then simply you're going to be able to run the ad and hope that people that are actually sitting down watching what's going on and being able to then make sure that they take the next step that you want and obviously that's to kind of lead them down the path to hopefully actually sell them some stuff and them to become your clients. Now as you would have guessed this is a really costly thing it takes a lot of time and it's really hard and there's a lot of roadblocks that can stop you from getting this up and running. Then there's the other factor that I don't want you to get it trapped into and that is simply you just wanting more followers, wanting more likes and this is what we call vanity metrics because likes and followers don't necessarily correlate over to clients in cash and I would rather actually show you the methods that are working right now to get clients in cash and I'm not really fussed about just the likes and followers part of this. So simply there's a three step funnel that we break down into that really isn't the traditional sales funnel that you're probably thinking right now. This is a really easy way where we need to do three things. And these are the three things that you need to do as of today, right now, to make sure that you're growing your coaching business. Number one, you need to get people that don't know to know. And specifically, you need to do it in a way where you're actually getting the right people to know you. You don't want the energy vampires, you don't want the tire kickers, you don't want the people that are looking out for the cheapest options. You're looking for the exact people that you want to be coaching, that you love to be able to coaching an absolute dream type of clients that you enjoy being able to work with day in, day out. Secondly, you need to be able to build trust with them. You need to be able to actually show them that you are the person that can solve their problems. They can make sure that you take away their pain and you give them what it is that they're really looking for. And then thirdly, you need the way to be able to actually turn that lead into a client. And I want to walk you through this invisible funnel that we're using right now because the coaches that are using it are absolutely crushing it. And you can do this really simply. Before joining Coaches Cartel with Chris, I had no idea what to do with my online business. I had a low-end membership site that had like no members and so I was like just jump in, sign up, started signing on some high-end online clients straight away and from there I just had the tools to like keep building and building and building on my business. So now going back to that, you wanting to be able to be on TV and doing that whole TV advertisement analogy, let's bring it back to what it is that you could do now that's going to be easier, cheaper, and you know what, probably a hell of a lot more effective as well. And that is what you first need to do. We need to be able to talk to their problem. You need to understand the market that you're essentially wanting to have as your client. You need to think of what are the biggest pains, what are the biggest problems, what are the biggest frustrations that they're having, and how can you actually start to solve them? One of the best way to get clients is to first go out and actually start to help people. And guess what the best way to do that is? Actually start to help people. So we need to be able to produce content that is solving their pain, showing that you know what it is that they need to do to get the solution that they're looking for. Then once you've done that, you need to be able to then give them an offer. You need to be able to get them to say, hey, this is exactly what I want. I like this guy. I like what he's doing and I want to be able to take the next steps with him. So let's go deeper and walk through the exact three steps for this invisible funnel that you can get set up as of today. So in this example, let's say you're a specialist in postnatal women being able to lose weight. A lady's just given birth and you want to be able to help them lose weight and get back into their pre-baby body shape. And so what you can do is you can think of what are the pains and problems that these 
these women are having. You're going to shoot a video and you're going to specifically going to put that on Facebook and be able to talk to the pains and problems that they have them and show them the solutions that they need to be able to follow through to be able to get the results that they're looking for. You're going to put that on Facebook because we can then be able to get very hyper targeted and put your message, put your video in front of those exact women. And this is where Facebook advertising right now, I think is absolutely monumentally being able to crush TV because you're going to be able to be very specific with who you get your message in front of. Now, this is where it gets really cool because once somebody has watched your video, let's say for example, a woman watches three to four minutes of your Facebook video, which I think is a lot, especially in Facebook ad days, because the thing is people aren't watching a lot of video for a long time. So if someone watches four minutes of your video, what they're doing is they're showing intent, they're showing interest in what it is you're talking about. And what we can do is we can retarget, we can put other offers, we can put other videos, we can put other messages in front of those people that have consumed your video. This is called a retargeting ad, especially for a Facebook video engagement audience that you're able to set up. So to make this nice and simple, I don't want this going straight over the top of your head, I want to make sure that you get this. You're putting a video out talking to the problems and pains, talking to the solutions of your market. Then once people have been able to engage and view your videos, you're then being able to put another video, another offer out in front of them. And this is where we need to give them that offer. And then what we can do is we can then, once they take up that offer, we need to then qualify them. So the three-step invisible funnel, and this is what's working right now, is you being able to put a Facebook video up, then putting an offer ad straight in front of those people, getting those people onto a phone call, qualifying them with what we call a fit or no fit call, and then signing them up into your coaching program. Now, I know, I understand, if you think this is completely BS or it's just too good to be true, I don't blame you. It sounds really simple, and that's the beauty of it. It is simple, and it is working. This is exactly what the other coaches are doing. This is also why I think you need to transfer from the old PT model to what we're calling the new PT model, because so many people are still trying to, say, send out eBooks or lead magazines, try and collect emails a whole time. Now, it's not that email marketing is dead, it's just there's other methods that could be faster, easier, and cheaper for you to be able to build your business and get the momentum that you're really looking for right now. Now, there's a lot that we've covered inside of this episode. I wanna make sure this is actionable so you know exactly the three steps to this invisible funnel for you to be able to do as of today. Now, if you think that there could be a bit of a Swiss cheese problem, you think there's a few holes in your business, you might be missing some stuff or some stuff might be broken and you wanna see what the other coaches are doing to be able to build a six-figure business, then what I'll do is I'll pop a link below to the recent recording that we just called the 100K Coach Plan. This is where you're going to be able to see what the other coaches are doing to earn over 100K each year with online coaching. And chill out, it's completely free and there's nothing to buy on it as well. Just dive in, use it, abuse it, and see the results all for yourself. And as always, thank you so much for being here. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode. And I was at this gym and I sold for the year $39,000 worth of personal training um, within that very instant. Now I get to work from home, support my wife, and actually do the work that I love because I'm helping other people and impacting their lives whilst having the freedom to be able to live life on my terms. If you don't invest in yourself, none of this is ever going to happen. We're about to possibly move and double our size solely because we want to help our community. We've partnered up with Silver Sneakers. We're going to be getting out in the community more. I mean, that just frees up our time when we've been here in the trenches and we haven't been able to do that. We've been owner operator. We're about to become business owners. And I'm truly thankful for everything that Chris and the cartel has done for me even now in just four weeks. And I can't wait for what's gonna happen in 2020. This is the real deal and this is the place to be. This is gonna have an impact on your life, your relationships, um, you're gonna earn a stack load more money and you're gonna have a bigger impact on the world. Uh, I guess where you get to really rub shoulders and you will have a massive impact uh, on the world. You will end up earning a whole lot more money um, and to be honest, you'll um, have a whole lot more time as well. We were so excited when we found the cartel and that they were able to come in with a systemized program and show us step by step along the way of what to do and the procedures to follow in order to grow our business.